Hello, good morning, YouTubers. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell you the the Israel and uh, Hamas conflict is actually escalating over the world. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I'm gonna especially in the United States of America. Okay, you know, I'm gonna tell you. I'm also I'm also worried about the Jewish community, including us Americans as well. Well, actually, Jewish community are Americans, but I'm going to talk about, say, all Americans, okay? All right? Like I say, true loyal Americans. Okay. What, what we had witnessed in the last few weeks, okay, that uh, Black Lives Matter, Atita, I'm going to tell you, major college universities, well, I'm not going to say major university, like I say, radical professors in major college universities, okay, and the Democrats, that, 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 that is also uh, the stirring up division within a party, like, like one side, you got the uh, Democrats supporting Hamas, you got one side, the Democrats uh, supporting, uh, supporting Israel. And President Joe Biden don't know where he is. He got bad to a point that he got lost inside Air Force One, in, like in flight from uh, from Israel. Okay, so you know I'm gonna tell you. Okay, it is clear present danger right here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what's going on here. That it got bad to a point that even that the, the, the leader of the climate change cult, uh, Greta, is siding with Gaza. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what it was that they refused to see that uh, it was a mass killing of Jewish people in Israel after Hamas crossed into the into Israel. I mean, killing people, including butchering babies. Okay, Cause I'm gonna tell you that is the first death in one day among Jewish since the Holocaust. Okay. You no, know, I have a very horrible feeling that that, that it may. I'm gonna, I pray that it's not gonna start over again because what happened? There's anti-Semitism going on in the United States and Europe. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now what's going on. That that, that if things escalated to a point, I'm gonna tell you if things escalated after Israel invaded uh, Gaza, Gaza. Okay, like a, a riot would break out. That that would be wave three. Of the riots in the U.S., it started with the death of George, uh, by Michael Brown, then George Floyd. Did, okay, that's wave one. Wave two, the death of George Floyd. Did, that, that the riots uh, broke out over the United States. Okay, that is, that is concern. Also, like the first two riots happened on like a, during election week. Okay, election election year. Now it's happening again during election season. Okay, so now, now that's a concern too because, all right, so, but also it got bad to the point that pro Hamas groups stormed the U.S. Capitol. And it's, it's so ironic is that the, the squad, the squad, the squad leaders in the Democratic Party is the one that is gating, okay? You know what? They're not, I'm going to tell you. And it's his double standard here that, uh, that the politicians, like, like they try to go out the politicians, you know, for that they accuse them of citing uh, the January 6th riot, but they and they put the the January 6th protesters in, in, in jail, okay? Like, most of, most of the protests were, were peaceful, but I'm gonna tell you, like, they're in prison now because, of, like, like they, they're not even if, if they're physically not there, okay? So now it's not getting back. Then we had a weak president who was real weak right now and not gonna do anything. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the professors, the radical professors in, in the universities. They remind me of those college professors in, in, in Nazi Germany, okay, with their anti-Semitism. Like, they even, they, I'm going to tell you, they burn books on anything that is not, uh, that is not uh, German, okay? They even burn the books up by Albert Einstein, who was Jewish, uh, a German scientist was Jewish, okay, but he had a he had a run for he had a run for his life to the United States, okay. So I'm gonna tell you now. Now, now, what happened is the Jewish community, 
that they've already been attacked by ghetto blacks, okay? Also, the ghetto blacks are attacking Asians, okay? I'm going to tell you. Truth is, that the Asian community is one of the few people who who immigrate from another country. They, they assimilated to, uh, to the ways of the United States of America, okay? And they hang on to their culture, but I'm going to tell you. But let me tell you about the Muslim, like the the Muslim communities. Like every, let me tell you, Muslim communities before the nineties, okay, like they were they were assimilated to, to the United States, to to, to to the United States way of life. But but after the nineties, they're not okay. They're here to change things. So I'm gonna tell you that special. I'm gonna tell you that I, I I live near a Somalian community, okay, all right. Like you see their neighborhoods, like uh, it's like it's like a third world country, okay. And they were causing trouble in my community, okay, for a long time, okay. So what happened is the, the media downplays it, okay. So what it was is, is like uh, there is a restaurant fight. There, there, there's some Asian, Asian and Latino owned restaurants. What was set on fire? A serious arson, arson fire, like in my community, out there along University Avenue. And we know what happened. They arrested the person, but the media did not identify that that that, that, that he is Somalian. Okay, what it was that uh, the the news from the streets is that he was setting fires to restaurants at the desert pork. Okay, that's after terrorists. Also, the Somali community bombed on like bombed the FedEx uh, facility. Okay, and uh. Okay, like nearby, and also uh, they bombed the federal building in like in the 90s and early 2000s. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, my concern is that if things go down, that they're gonna, they're gonna do what, what Hamas do. Okay, also on the other side of my community, they're a Jewish community. Okay, that is concerned because my opinion is that uh, that they will mobilize and they'll plow right through my community. Okay. As they do the evil deeds and like they go out, go out there and attack the Jewish community. So that is a concern. Okay, and all that is a concern the rest of the country. You see, I'm gonna tell you. There, I'm gonna tell you, there are a lot of uh, Muslim communities living in cities, okay? Many of them. And like one of them, in their Muslim quotes, uh, trying to have a bunch of police officers and feels dummy walk back, okay? So, okay. And also, my, also, also, the like a dirt, like a also a teeth of Black Lives Matter, who who formed an alliance with the, with Hamas and support Hamas. Okay, they're gonna start acting up again. You gotta remember too about the Tita that they they stab a black conservative in Portland. Also, they they beat up a, a Asian reporter. Okay, yeah, cause he's yeah, cause uh, he's on he's on uh, the Twitter. Okay, I'm a like I say, I'm, like I log on to his account, okay, so, yeah, like that was him, he got beat up, and then what happened? They served, served, served jail, jail time, okay, or probation. That, 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 that lawyer who defended the, that person, who, who beat him up, he announced that he is a Tita. So the justice system is already corrupt. Okay, even I'm gonna tell you the Democrat Party, well, the politicians in general are, are corrupt. Even the Republicans can't cannot get a, a speaker of the House. As the world about to catch on fire. And so I'm gonna tell you, the way three of the riots in the U.S. is you know is is is, is, is gonna is gonna be real ugly because you know what though, you gotta remember too. People in the rural community is not going to be safe because got to remember as well that uh, Muslim immigrants it, it, it's planted in in rural America now. So okay, so like uh, they will like they will go on attack if something goes down. Like they they, 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 they they even will more likely just start setting start starting wildfires. Okay, that's their problem. Well, you got to remember Hamas done that to Israel is so setting fires to farms. Okay. Cause I do remember one while back I used to work on a forest service. Got the forestry people from uh from Israel who tried to like I say 
like I say, you don't want to turn the country back to a forest again. What happened, like, when they try to plant trees, okay, up there, the terrorists burn them up. All right, so I'm going to tell you right there that uh, I'm going to tell you, too, that Hamas, okay, who are Palestinians, you got to remember, too, that a while back, the Palestinians' moth leader sided with Hitler, okay? He even sent thousands of his troops into Germany to kill to kill Jews in concentration camps. Okay, you got two the like the professors who are indoctrinating the young people is not gonna tell not are not are not teaching history at all. They teach the indoctrination because I'm gonna tell you that those socialists or like, like I say, holding I'm gonna tell you they know the history, but what they're doing is they holding, they holding back information to young people, so they can, so they can indoctrinate them to do their bidding. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right there, the Jewish community, especially, I worry about them. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I will defend them, as well. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right there, America, so and and, and Europe, that uh, be safe, please. Have a nice morning, YouTubers.